my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. She really does sound extremely depressed, doesn't she? And if the bear is anything like Among the Sleep, you're not getting that bear back, let's be honest. It walks off on its own. Right? It talks a lot, too. It's getting it to shut up, that's the trick. Alright, let's see here. Attention, patrons. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. To interact with objects. Oh. I think you need to go and interact with that. I think I ate one of Karen's Alan brownies. I was born the day this place opened. <laughs> This is his favorite place in the world. All right, guys, that was uh, quite the entrance. You know, lackluster. Anyways, welcome to the park. This is supposed to be a psychological horror game. And with me is Hannah, as always. Hi. So uh, let's, let's get into it. Let's get spooky. I think she's just on edibles. This is how people Definitely act when they're on edibles. edibles. Lorraine. Yeah. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. Wait. People lose things all the time. Take a deep Lorraine, breath. it's okay. You're a shitty mother. That Don't worry. Place you saw your what? Son's teddy bear. Wait. Stop. Why does he know her name? <clears throat> I think your boy just well, came to the park. I don't know. I'll unlock the gates for you. Am I supposed to just go through the bars? Hello. Where are you going? This way. Oh man. If I get back here now, you little shit. I'm getting layers of fear vibes. Why? We're not in a house. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you see how like things keep disorienting around me. Hmm. This kind of creeps me. Woman, just run the fuck up there. Entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. I'm sure that's fine. It also takes a very long time. Pretty sure escalators aren't that slow. <laughs> well, thank you for going all creepy and speeding up for me. I, I appreciate the speed. Hey, it gets to the top faster. You know what? Bring it on. Well, clearly, it took that long. It's night time. Scariest thing so far about this game is the escalator. Mark, what happened here? So, is this game just open worlds? Do I have to look around? So it's not open world. I um, you can go and look at like these little shacks and stuff, and like look around because things do and will happen. Um, objects that you need to look at will do what that sign did at the front, you know, kind of have that weird effect on it. Um, and it's imperative that you go up to each of the rides and at least ride them. Okay, got it. Where are you? Over here! Where did you go? Go, get your son. Uh, I was just, I was just <laughs> messing with the calls. I'm like, <laughs> how many times can I call this game? Just get back here, you little shit. Let's go get a happy yeah. or something. <laughs> oh, that is just terrifying. Yeah. That'd be a big note for you.
Callan, come back. Mommy Xanax is starting to wear off. <laughs> come back, Callum. Catch me, Mommy. Satan's whore. Hey, honey, they're talking about you. Weird. <laughs> All right. I've never gone in a guy's mouth before, but here we go. For fuck's sake. Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Pussy. Oh, brave. Callum! Wait, how do I get a flashlight? I can't tell where he is. Don't worry about that. That way. That's, you, that's the way forward. Oh, it's saving. Something's about to happen. It's a weird mechanic. No, it does periodically save. So, that is a unique mechanic. Where I call out to him and he tells me where I need to go. go? <clears throat> yeah, it's good. Yeah, on the floor. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, back. There was something to examine on the floor. Is that his shoe? It came up saying, yeah. I think this belongs to Callum. Oh, that is just... That's some terrifying stuff. That makes me Chad think the of, chipmunk! Makes me think of Silent Hill, the bunny, the creepy bunny. Even though he's a chipmunk. <laughs> Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Oh, just as I did in Layers of Fear. If you guys want, just go ahead and pause this and read it. Okay. Nope, can't go in the women's bathroom. Well, of course you'd want to go in there. You hear that? Yeah, terrifying. So, can I die in this game? Without any no. spoilers. So it's all just kind of like a thrill ride. It's literally psychological. Oh. No, 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 thank you. Come on, bitch. <laughs> go on the ride, go on the ride, go on the ride. To be fair, you have to go on the ride. Yeah. Look, I said to stop like calling me, mommy. The little shit went and got on the ride. I can't get on the ride, I'm trying. Yeah, give it a second. Hey. 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 Alright, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> I don't like that I can't look behind me. <laughs> For an older game, this one's also pretty nice. The like, graphics are good, yeah. Yeah. I take it this was probably an indie game, right? I have absolutely no idea. Oh. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What the hell does sup mean? What will become of us? Uh, um, I presume to drink. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Take the kid. Hint, kids. 
It's not me, it's both of you. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves... Oh, the fucking Christ. Then follow the trail that actually got me. House. Fucking Chad. Some bitch, I'm trying to pay attention to this and you scare the shit out of me. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost I'm all into the story, I turn my head and fucking Chad is staring me down. <laughs> yeah, this game's all about a little shit like that. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. I'm like a child all into the story. <laughs> In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. I heard that. Don't fuck with me, Chad. I know karate. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Oh, no. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home. The children wandered in the forest What a shame. Three days. Kids didn't come home. I like that I got achievement. The achievement's name was Chad. Oh, there's some stupid ass achievements in this. Like, you literally you just look at something and like, here's an achievement. Strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread. And its windows were panes of I think these bits are like the longest part of the entire game. If, if they didn't have these, you could probably finish the game in like 15 minutes. <laughs> nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come These kids never heard of Stranger me. Danger. No harm will come to you. She seems legit. I would trust her. Back <laughs> for the oh yeah, she seems so legit. Of their cruel mother. I keep like come looking to the children, side now because I'm wondering if Chad's afraid. gonna try to get up my hoo-hoo. <laughs> Are you paranoid now? The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. The only thing she's missing is a white van. The old woman. <laughs> Why does she need a white van when she's got a house made of candy? That's like ultimate child bait. Rude, I'm trying to listen to the goddamn story here, game. Can I spaz out at a different time, please? Yeah, but I like how you frantically began looking around, like, what's that? Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. I mean, that sounds legit. Time passed. Yeah. Right. Used to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door. No. The oven. Oh, plot <laughs> twist. Freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Those children are fucked if they sat there and just listened to her screaming. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, 
They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Well, you know, sharing is caring. At least they have that good value about them. <laughs> they went pity pity. You don't have to frantically look around so much. The fuck you looking at? Hi. <laughs> That's right. Look the fuck away. I enjoyed that ride. Thank you very much. You've got to go on all the rides. It's part of the story. Did you have fun? Yes, it was, um... Right. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. That's weird. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Right? When you get hungry, you get scary and cranky. What, me? Yeah. Well, they didn't feed me. Uh -huh. It's like we have to have, in the room we have to have like emergency snacks. You have to break the glass and everything. Yeah. Yup. I'm just here scratching feed me. Another accident. This place. Chad. <laughs> You've just alerted to where you are. Put a knife in your head. Oh, teddy bear. Oh, I can't shut it. Kind of like how I did in Layers of Fear. Every every door I went through, just shut the door. It's fine. <laughs> no, yeah. Giving you the spoops. Hentai? I haven't your son in a while. <laughs> oh, I Do forgot not it. start with hentai. I, I forgot I had a kid. You go? <laughs> You're just walking around like an, an old Wait abandoned theme park. Wait for mommy, you little shit. Come out, sweetie. <laughs> She's very calm. I would be screaming That's profanities okay. at my child if they just did one. Right? I, I can tell. Like, I'd be like, kid, just come back. Mom's fucking crazy. I don't want to I mean, deal with it. You don't want to deal with it. Nobody wants this. <laughs> I'd probably be, be calm at first. And then after about 10 minutes, I'd be like, get the fuck back here! <laughs> right. Okay. Hentai. 